Hello, welcome to another video with me, Christian Rauchenwald. Now, today is actually a day I've been looking forward for some time now, because yesterday Planet Watch finally made it possible to onboard the aware element onto Planet Watch. And this is what we're going to do in this video. So I'm going to show you exactly how you can onboard your airware element to Planet Watch to start earning planets every day for basically sharing the air quality data of your aware element air quality sensor. Unlike other projects, like for example, Helium Network, where all you need to onboard your hotspot is the hotspot itself. With Planet Watch, there are a few other requirements that you have to fulfill before you can onboard your air quality sensor to Planet Watch. The first among those requirements is that you also need a valid license. And depending on what type of hotspot you have, you'll also need a different type of license. For those of you who are not familiar at all with Planet Watch, well, Planet Watch itself supports four types of sensors and the aware element that you can see as that blurred in the background here is a type four sensor and requires a type four license. And you can learn more about the different sensors on the Planet Watch website if you go to buy and then go to buy sensors and then you can browse through the different types of sensors, which countries they are supported in, where you can buy them and how much they cost. Now, when we're talking about the different kind of sensors, so the type one, two type four sensors. One important thing here to point out is that most of those sensors only work in, in quotes, first world countries like US, Canada, Europe, and so on, and wouldn't work if you're, for example, let's say in the Philippines or in India. However, the type four sensors like the Atom 2 Pro or the Aware Element, which we're going to onboard in this video, work all around the world. So no matter where you are, you will, however, likely need to use a forwarding service for the packages from the Aware online shop because they don't ship worldwide. So you will need to place an order at the online shop to the forwarding address and then the forwarding service will then forward the package to wherever you are in the world to be able to get your hands on an aware element. With a Tom 2 Pro, I honestly don't know if they have shipping restrictions, but if they have the same solution applies, simply look for a forwarding service that forwards from the US or UK. So depending on where you place your order to the country you're living in. Once you have your air quality sensor, the next thing you'll need is a Planet Watch license and the license is limited for one to three years, depending on which one you want to buy. And you can buy those also on the Planet Watch website by simply going to buy and then buy license. And it goes without saying that if you own a type four sensor like the Aware Element or the Atom 2 Pro that you also will require to buy a type four license. At the time of recording this video, the costs to acquire a type four license for one year are 35 euro and for a three year period would be 70 euro. So if you already buy the license for the three year period, you're looking at less than two euro per month that you pay for the license that allows you to actually earn planets with your type four sensor. There is, however, a very important catch when it comes to paying for anything that you buy on the Planet Watch website, and that is that you can, with very few exceptions, only pay with planets. So the algorand based token that you will also earn with your sensor. And since planets are a token on the Algorand blockchain, you will also need an Algorand wallet. Unfortunately, while many wallets support Algorand itself, not many do support tokens. And it's best if you go with the native Algorand wallet app, which you can find by clicking on a link in the description or the first pinned comment down below. Now, once you have the app on your phone, like I have it here, I'm gonna put the screen there, you will basically have likely an Algorand balance of zero and no planets in the wallet yet. Obviously, if you already have an Algorand wallet, you can try to import it into the Algorand app or you can check with whichever wallet you're using if they also support Algorand tokens. But the best practice would be to go with the Algorand app and either as said, import your existing Algorand wallet or create a new one within the app. And with your Algorand wallet set up and in place, the next thing you would need to do is actually buy the amount of planets that is needed to acquire the license for your sensor. So at the time of recording this video, if we would want to buy a three year type four license for 70 euro, which is roughly $80. And considering the current price of roughly 31 US dollar cents per planet, you would need to buy around 256 planets on an exchange and then send them to your Algorand wallet. Which means right now, other than the Algorand wallet, you will also need either a Bitfinex or a Bitmart account because those two exchanges currently support Algorand. You can find links to both of them also in the description or the first pinned comment down below. Personally, I bought my planets on Bitfinex because back then it was the only exchange that supported planet tokens. However, I also have a BitMart account by now and I have to say the KYZ verification with BitMart, which is what you need in order to be able to withdraw your planets from BitMart to your Algorand wallet, went way faster and took less than 30 minutes compared to Bitfinex where it took a couple of hours. So to sum things up so far, besides the air quality sensor, 
and the license, you will also need an account with either Bitmark, Bitfinex or both in order to buy the planets that you need to acquire the license in the first place. And on top of that, you also will need to buy a few dollars worth of Algorand because in order to have an active Algorand wallet, it needs to have at least 0.1 Algo in the wallet at all times. However, you cannot just buy 0.1 Algo because you need to consider the minimum withdrawal amount and the withdrawal fees of the exchange so that when you send those Algos to the wallet, that it's at least the minimum withdrawal amount and in the end still is more than 0.0 algo that you have in the wallet. Which is also the reason why I don't have 0.1 algo in my Algorand wallet but 3 point something. Before you then are able to withdraw your planets as well into your Algorand wallet so you can then use them to pay for your license at Planet Watch, there is one last step to have to do. So first of all you need to withdraw some algo into your new Algorand wallet so that it's basically activated and then you will not see planets like I see them right now in my wallet but you will need to have to press add new asset and then there search for planet and basically press on it and will ask you if you want to activate the asset which will also cost you a very small Algorand fee and once you've done that you will be able to withdraw the planets that you bought on the exchange as well into your Algorand wallet and when you then check out on the Planet Watch website, you will see address and the amount that you have to pay in planets. And you can then simply send that amount from your Algorand wallet to the Planet Watch website to basically buy the license for your sensor. And I would love to show all those steps in detail in this video, but A, I've already completed all of them and B, it's actually quite straightforward. You just have to follow the instructions on the screen. So I said, first create your Algorand wallet. And again, you can find the link to that in the description in the first pinned comment down below. Second, sign up at one or both of the exchanges and complete the KYZ verification. Third, either deposit some money from your credit card, wire transfer, or whichever other method, or deposit some existing cryptocurrency from another wallet into the exchange and use that to buy a small amount of Algorand, considering the minimum withdrawal amount and the withdrawal fees of the exchange and the amount of planets that you need to pay for your license. Once you've bought both of those, transfer the Algorand into your Algorand wallet, use it to activate planets in the Algorand wallet, and then also transfer the planets from the exchange into your Algorand wallet. And then go to planetwatch.com, click on buy in the top menu, buy license, pick whichever license you need, which again for the aware element would be a type four license and follow the instructions in the online store until the point where it tells you how many planets you have to send to which address and then send those planets from your Algorand wallet to the Planet Watch online store. And with that, we are almost good to go to start the actual setup and onboarding of the Aware Element air quality sensor. Because one last thing you have to do after you bought the license is you'll have to complete the KYZ verification within Planet Watch. For that, you can again go to the Planet Watch website. In this case, I'm going to share my screen. And from there, you can go to the Planet Watch Explorer. And then there in the top right, you will see this icon here, which depending on your first name will have a different letter. Just click on it, go to my verifications and complete the basic verifications by clicking on the button that usually should be here and following the instructions on the screen. You don't have to complete the advanced verification unless you want to buy more than five licenses and run and operate more than five air quality sensors. However, even if you would want to do that, you would still first need to complete the basic verification as well. And if you're worried that there are any more steps that make the whole thing even more complicated, well, I can tell you that's not the case. We're actually good to go now. So last time summary here, step number one, get the air quality sensor that you want that is also supported by Planet Watch in the first place and make sure to pick one that is supported in your country. If you're not sure, the safe choice is to go with a type four sensor like the Aware Element or the Atom 2 Pro. Step number two, create your Algorand wallet and sign up at Bitmart or Bitfinex, which again, you can find links to in the description and the first pinned comment down below. Complete the KYZ verification in the exchange and then basically transfer either some existing crypto from one of your other wallets into the exchange or deposit some money using your credit card or any other deposit method that is offered to you. Use that money to buy a few dollars worth of Algorand, but make sure to first check the minimum withdrawal amount and the withdrawal fee for Algorand because you will have to buy at least that amount and transfer those Algorands into your Algorand wallet to activate the wallet. Then go ahead in the Algorand wallet and press add new asset, look for planets asset, 
And then there by pressing planets, it will ask you if you want to edit or activate it, which will cost you a small transfer or transaction fee and planets will be activated in your Algorand wallet as well. And you can then go ahead and withdraw the planets that you bought to your Algorand wallet. After that, go to planetwatch.com, click on buy and buy license, and then pick the license you wanna buy, which again, as a reminder for the aware element would be a type four license. Follow the checkout process, and at some point it will tell you that you can pay with planets, and it will show you a QR code that you can basically then scan with the Algorand app by pressing the QR icon in the top, and then basically simply send the amount that the online store tells you to send, and you will have bought your license successfully. With that done, still on the Planet Watch website, go to the Explorer, sign in there, use the same credentials as in the online store. If you cannot sign in with those credentials, create a new account using the same email address as you used in the online store and complete the KYZ verification there as well. And if you haven't set up your aware element so far, then you will also need to download the aware home app, which you also can find a link in the description or the first pinned comment down below and follow the instructions there. And as mentioned, you can also check out the video about that in the card up here. One important thing to mention here is that you cannot use sign up with Facebook or sign up with Google for the aware home. Otherwise you will have an issue onboarding your sensor. If you did that, then you need to go into your aware home app. There simply go back to the main page where you see all your devices, press the profile icon in the top right corner and press reset password to also set a password for that account, which will then allow you to also log in with email and password instead of logging in with Google or Facebook. And I know it's already been a long video, but those are all the steps that you need to complete in order to onboard your aware element to Planet Watch in the first place. But with that, we actually have everything in place. So the next thing you'll need is actually to download the Planet Watch app. And here you have to watch out because as you can see on my screen right now, when you look for Planet Watch, there's a Planet Watch app and the Planet Watch wearable app, and you will need the first one. So the one that's Planet Watch and not Planet Watch wearable. Once you open that app, you will be able to log in with your Planet Watch account, so the one that you created on the Planet Watch Explorer. And you will first need to go to wallets. And as you can see, I already linked my wallet here, but you will need to press the plus icon in the top right corner, press recover passphrase, give it an account name, and then from the Algorand wallet, enter the recover phrase, so the mnemonic phrase that was shown to you when you created the Algorand wallet in the first place. Once you've done that, you will also see your Algorand wallet here and you can go to the sensors tab. So the first tab, which will show nothing right now, but you can then click the plus icon in the top right corner again, pick your license, which will synchronize from the online store and then pick your aware element, which will show up because you have it set up in the aware home app. And here, the only thing we can do is basically press proceed, which will ask us to log in in our aware element or aware account in order to allow Planet Watch to grab and synchronize the data from your aware element into Planet Watch and reward you with Planet. So what you'll have to do here is press continue and it will open up the login. And as said, it won't work with continue with Facebook and continue with Google. They might add or fix that in the future, but the safe bet is that you sign up in the first place for aware with email and password, or that you use the reset password function if you signed up with Google or Facebook. Now I'm just gonna log in here real quick. And once you've logged in successfully, you will see a list of all your supported aware devices. So if you have multiple aware element sensors, for example, you would see multiple here. However, it's important to point out here that you're not allowed to have multiple aware element within the same apartment or house, for example. So there's no point in buying five sensors and putting one in each room because it will just eventually get you banned from Planet Watch in the first place. Either way, the obvious step here is to press on the sensor that we want to set up, select the wallet that we added to the Planet Watch app in a step earlier, and then enter the address where the sensor is set up in the first place, which again, I'm going to do real quick right now. And once you've entered your address, like I did just now, you can obviously continue by pressing the proceed button again. And it tells you that this onboarding process could now take up to two minutes. So we'll just have to wait. And I'm going to basically just cut the video once we are at the next step. Unfortunately, however, as you can see now on the screen, I actually received an error now trying to activate my license. I'm however not super worried about that because the same thing happened to pretty much everyone during the first 24 hours trying to onboard their sensor. So what I'll have to do here now is simply click try again until the onboarding works. I hope that the Planet Watch team will fix that in the future 
but as said I'll just have to keep trying again until it works and then we should be good to go. If you are however trying to onboard UIWear Element already a couple months or weeks after the official or initial onboarding which happened on the 3rd of November 2021 and trying again doesn't solve the problem for you even if you try again in 24 hours from now then you might have or should probably reach out to the Planet Watch support to get them to help you and assist you with setting up your sensor. For me as said I will just press try again now and again press proceed and I will keep doing this a couple of times until the sensor is actually onboarded. Well in this case second time was the charm you can see that it now says license edit successfully and we can press view sensor which takes us now to again the sensors tab where we if we press the indoor tab actually should see our sensor no we don't let's press the outdoor tab again we also don't see our sensor then let's try to restart the Planet Watch app real quick. Okay, still says no data for outdoor sensors, no indoor sensors, and let's check wearable. Okay, surprisingly, so the aware element, I honestly did not know that, is listed in the wearable section. And there we can see that our sensor is online and we can basically see that it already sent 600 streams, so data points or data elements. It says the location is in Kiev, the score currently is zero, my license is valid until the 4th of November 2024 and so far I earned a total of zero rewards. And that's pretty much it with that we've successfully onboarded our Wear Element Sensor finally into the Planet Watch app to start earning or start receiving planets pretty much every day for sharing our air quality data. Now as said, unlike other projects like Helium Network, there are a lot of steps involved in getting up and running with Planet Watch. But I also think that what they're doing actually makes a lot of sense because it creates more demand for planets because people have to buy planets on the exchange in order to buy their license, which helps also to drive the price up a little bit more. Obviously, with more people onboarding their Wear Element and other Planet Watch supported sensors, there will be more people receiving planets as rewards and that start selling them on the exchange as well. So at some point, the price should kind of flatten a little bit because supply and demand will a little bit even out. In the long run, however, in my opinion, the next big challenge or step for Planet Watch is for them to actually find buyers for that air quality data because once there are buyers for that data they will also likely be supposed or required to pay for that data using planets which will again create more demand for planets on the exchange and should help drive the price of planets up further. However that's just my personal opinion and not financial advice. You should obviously do your own research and decide for yourself if it's worth for you to either invest in planets or get an air quality sensor that is supported or not. That's it. If you have any questions whatsoever about Planet Watch or the Aware Element, feel free to leave them in the comment below. If you're struggling with signing up for an exchange, KYZ verification, paying for a license or something, please don't bother commenting below because I will not be able to help you and likely nobody else will as well. You will just have to reach out to the support of whichever platform you're currently struggling with. However, one place where you can also get help with those things, at least to some extent, is the Planet Watch channel in our Discord community, which you can also find by using the link in the description of the first pinned comment down below. And there, just in case you didn't know it yet, we also have a daily giveaway. So for being active in our Discord community, you can also earn cryptocurrency on top of learning about new things and getting help for questions that you might have along the way. Thanks for watching. See you in one of my other videos. Till then, bye-bye.